New developments tonight in a story News 12 brought you just hours ago. Four men have been charged with selling drug-laced candy bars near schools in Suffolk. Our Jen Selig live outside one of those two stores, uh, stores that were busted. And boy, how's the community reacting, Jen? Yeah, Doug, adults and students at the West Islip School District were surprised to learn that this store right here, Legit 100 Smoke Shop on Higby Lane, was allegedly selling drug-laced candy bars. But they say the most concerning part about this is that this store is just blocks away from a high school, middle school, and elementary school. I think that's crazy, like West Islip. I mean, I think it's a good town. I never expected something like that to happen here. You can see stacked containers sealed with evidence tape and glass cases inside 100 legit smoke shop are now empty after Suffolk police conducted search warrants at this store and exit 42 deli shop in Bayshore. During the search, police seized large quantities of mushrooms with psilocybin, concentrated cannabis, marijuana and cocaine. Additionally, detectives discovered some of these narcotics were packaged as name brand candy, but not all of them. There's no evidence that uh, cocaine was sold or packaged as candy or anything like that. There was uh, controlled substances that were recovered and people were charged as a result. The owner of the two businesses, 44 year old Ali Anwar and his three employees, 42 year old Hassin Anwar, 47 year old Joseph Orso and 30 year old Savin Mahabal were arrested. Now three of the four men face criminal sale of a controlled substance in or near school grounds. And police are warning parents now to be observant about what their kids buy. This was very, it was a priority. It came to our attention, the commission became aware of it, um, made it a priority. We devoted a tremendous amount of resources to make sure that it got done well and quickly. Um, I would tell parents uh, be hyper vigilant about the type of things that their kids are buying and looking into. Still shocked, to be quite honest with you. Adam Wally from West Islip works behind the counter at Crispino's Pizza. The restaurant is a few storefronts away from the 100 legit smoke shop. On Tuesday afternoon, he saw the police presence and knew right away something was up. It's a little concerning, yeah, especially by an elementary school and high school. They, they come down here all the time from like when they get out of school or lunch, walk right past here. So it's easy accessibility for them to just walk past and go in. It's shocking. It's terrible. I can't believe it. I just ho hopefully nothing bad like that happens anymore over here. And Suffolk police say they wouldn't have been able to make these arrests without the public's help. Now at this time they couldn't specify who came forward to their department about this situation as it is an active ongoing investigation and Doug it's unclear if or when these two stores will reopen.